Alright everybody, it's Dre from Bullshit Corner and in today's video we're going to look at troubleshooting the HVAC system. My HVAC system has no issues whatsoever. I had a YouTuber comment on one of my videos, I'm going to leave his name across the bottom of the screen here, and he wanted to know how to go about and troubleshoot his system because his AC and his Jeep is stuck on between top vent and the floor. So, without physically being there and troubleshooting what his issue is, I'm going to presume that he's suffering from a vacuum leak somewhere. This video is just going to be about what lines to check and a quick explanation how the vacuum system works. Unless I physically remove the dash from the Jeep, you're not going to be able to go about and see where all the vacuum lines go once it enters inside the cab. So this is just going to, I'm just going to show you uh, where the vacuum line comes off the engine, uh, where to look for, where the most common places you're going to find a hole in your line or something and where it connects everything else. So anyways, I'm jabbing on. Let's get fucking to work here. So this only applies on the Jeep TJ with a 4 liter engine. If you have any other type of engine, this won't apply to you at all. So on your intake manifold, you're going to see this line right here and it ties into your intake manifold. Ignore this white line. On your vehicle, this white line will not exist. This white line, it goes to my vacuum gauge inside the cab. This is something I added on, but this is for your HVAC controls. And this is a check valve right here. So it could be possible that this check valve could be blocked and it's not allowing vacuum to go through. You may, this boot may have actually came off, but if that was the case, you'd probably would have a engine code saying that your engine's running lean. You could have holes in the line from this section here, but once again, if you, if any part of this line from the check valve to your intake manifold is damaged, you would have an engine code saying your engine's running lean because you're getting unmetered air into your system. So. Providing that that's not the case, you have to rule out that. So from the check valve back, we're going to assume that's where the leak is. So when you shake the vacuum line, you can see up on my firewall, the vacuum line comes up from behind the brake master cylinder. And here's the vacuum line here. It is possible that this vacuum line could be torn in any place. And you can see it right along the line here, right? All the way along. So. Now we know on the Jeep, we got a vacuum line going in where the heater hose is in. There's another check valve there. So you could remove the line to any one of these spots right here and start your vehicle up and check for vacuum. With a vacuum gauge at this port or that port, check both ends. After the check valve, hook up a line, connect the vacuum gauge, and verify that you got vacuum to this line here. If you got a vacuum to this line here, then you know you got a vacuum going all the way through the system. And then you can also check on this part here to make sure you got vacuum. But if you don't have vacuum here, most likely you're not going to have vacuum here unless the check valve is plugged. Hopefully you're following along. And then the line goes behind the computer right here and goes into behind the cab. So now inside the cab, everything's operated by vacuum. And I'll see if I can zoom in. There's two vacuum lines right there. Those are part of your HVAC system, the blue and yellow ones in the back corner. It's hard to focus on them. So there's two vacuum lines there. Like I said, unless you're going to physically remove the dash, um, it's going to be hard for me to try to explain to you how this works. So now we got... The HVAC control is pulled out here. So all your vacuum is connected at the back here, all these lines. So if I, I should still have vacuum in my system. So when I move the selector, you should be able to hear the vents in that still move. Well, I could hear. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it in the camera. But all your vacuum goes through here. Right, and then over here, whoops, you got more vacuum lines here and goes into the heater box. 
And where those two lines come in from inside, I tried peeking around, but I wasn't able to disclose where they come from. But if you can verify that you got vacuum to this part here, you may have a stuck actuator then. Now if you want to check if you got vacuum to the switch, unless I'm wrong, somebody can correct me on this, but I'm going to assume this black line is your vacuum coming in from your outside source because everything else is color coded to different vacuum actuators on the system. I mean, you could pull them all off and check for vacuum. There's no harm in that as well. So basically, if you can verify that you got a vacuum all the way to where it enters the cab itself, you know your vacuum is leaking somewhere else. So if you can confirm if you got vacuum going to the selector switch itself, you may have a stuck actuator somewhere. But since your vacuum is stuck on the default, uh, the frosted floor, I know when I was pissing around with my vacuum and trying to get the uh, vacuum gauges to work properly, that's where mine would default to. Um, I'm going to suspect if you don't have an engine code, you got a leak after that check valve to where it enters the cab. So you can verify, um, like I said, by connecting the vacuum gauge either after that check valve and then farther up on the firewall before it enters the cab and verify vacuum at those sections. Like I said, the check valve could be blocked, either one of those two. Um, Lots of little things to check for. Usually when you lose vacuum and you can't change your selector, probably 75 to 80% of the time, you got a hole somewhere in your vacuum line, usually in the engine compartment itself. So I hope this video helps you out in troubleshooting. Um, if you have any other questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.